Uh, hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. Uh, in this video, I'll explain how to implement simple RAG application uh, using just uh, instructor library and uh, unstructured uh, for data pre-processing for LLM and uh, how you could get uh, structured JSON output uh, for your request. Uh, and thanks to uh, instructor library, uh, we can get uh, JSON output out of the box. And of course, it very much depends on uh, what kind of LLM you're using. And uh, my test today is executed with Wizard LM2 from Microsoft Open Source LLM. And it seems like this LLM uh, is able to provide quite good uh, uh, structured output. And because of that, instructor library is able to uh, format and uh, produce well-structured JSON response, which is validated by uh, Sparrow dynamic class, which is implemented with Pydantic. So let's see how it works. So first of all, this is the requirements file here, and we can see that Instructor uh, is installed, and also Unstructured library is installed for the data pre-processing. Uh, unstructured is important because when you, in this case, this rack works with PDF, and uh, we don't feed PDF data directly to Instructor. Uh, we pre-process data with unstructured. So we read PDF data with unstructured, and thanks to the unstructured functionality, we are able to identify table blocks inside PDF, and then uh, we can convert tables into HTML structure. And this way, it's uh, when we have a, a convert table to HTML structure, we can uh, keep relationships between uh, rows and uh, columns of the table. And this way, for LLM, it's easier to understand table structure instead of just uh, passing raw text data into LLM. And the rest of the uh, non-table data, which you get from PDF, it's also processed by unstructured, cleaned up, and uh, uh, we send to LLM cleaned up data and uh, without uh, noise and uh, as a result LLM uh, is able to produce better response for us. Okay, so that's about requirements and this is the sample output that we get uh, from Instructor and Unstructured and in this case uh, it's important to mention that in this rack I'm not using uh, vector DB and I'm not using Llama index or long chain. So it's only uh, unstructured and instructor, and uh, because of less of the loss of dependencies, runtime performance is also is slightly improved, and uh, we, uh, this is important for production cases uh, because performance is important. Faster you execute request, uh, then your users will be more happy. Okay, so we get this JSON structure out of the box, uh, and if you look into the configuration. For the instructor, for the instructor, sorry. So we using uh, Wizard LM2, 7B LM quantized uh, with five bits. I also did a few tests with uh, No Screamers 2 Pro. It also works very well uh, with instructor, instructor, and is able to produce uh, uh, nice structured JSON output. I also tested with Llama 3, 3 uh, 8B. Uh, it performs not as good as uh, Wizard LM2. Uh, I didn't test it with 70B Llama 3, but uh, overall I would recommend for you to go and test with Wizard LM2. It seems, uh, it seems like it's um, uh, producing quite uh, good results for the JSON data extract extraction from the document. Okay, and now Let's go through the through the code, and this is instructor script. It's located over here, and this script implements uh, Sparrow agent. You can uh, implement inside Sparrow different agents with different technologies, and this makes uh, Sparrow quite uh, unique that it uh, handles different technologies like a plugins, basically, or agents. Okay, so we have this interface here, run pipeline. Uh, which uh, uh, interface method run pipeline here, which implements actual logic for the agent. So in the first step, we, uh, for example, we're using unstructured here to extract elements. Then in the next step, uh, we are 
converting uh, elements uh, retrieved with a structure to the text data. And in this step, in this step, if you go to the uh, method, we uh, convert elements to JSON, and then we process JSON file. And uh, uh, when we get elements with a structure, a structure to assign certain types for each uh, node of the data, so we can understand if some block is table, title, narrative text, or uh, in some cases uncategorized, uncategorized text. And then if, in case if it's a table, then this option to return entire table block as HTML with uh, divs and, and uh, all the HTML elements. And uh, as a result, this will make LLM uh, process uh, this piece of data easier because it will understand the relationship between rows and columns out of the box. So we do all this processing here so, and load the text data. Right, and then we get uh, like a plain text data. We don't need to do any embeddings or whatever. We execute uh, a query with instructor here. Before that, we construct dynamic response class based on the input parameter names and types. And we pass this uh, dynamic class into the execute query method. Site execute query, we're using standard API from instructor, and we're using Olama uh, because we execute LLM locally, and Olama supports uh, uh, mock of uh, OpenAI API, and this is how, with this API, um, instructor works, and as a result, it can work with Olama as well because we pass. Uh, base URL which points to local Olama instance. And then in the query, in the content here we pass uh, the query, uh, basically list of fields that we want to extract, and then here we pass the content, and this is the text content uh, as, a, as a result which comes from the unstructured pro, uh, library processing. And then we basically here execution happens, and then we get back the answer, and return back the answer to the caller. And as a response model, here we provide dynamic identity class, uh, which is constructed here in a Sparrow based on, uh, as I mentioned, input parameter names and types. Uh, okay, if you go back to execute query, it's here. If you go to build response class method so we can see that we're using uh, query, query inputs and query types of strings and we using pedantic create model method and we construct dynamic class over here. Okay, and then at the end we get back result and print it out and return it back to the caller. So this is how it works and the great thing is that uh, we don't need vector DB, we don't need uh, manually run embeddings, and we are not using a uh, framework like Llama Index or Lang Chain, which are good, but in some cases, uh, maybe too heavy frameworks to be used in some of the use cases. And with Instructor, it looks like it's lighter approach, and it works quite well, especially in a combination of powerful, powerful local LLM, like Visor LM2, or NoSkrms Pro, or Llama 3. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.